Hi, this is Lucy Piper and uh, today I want to show how we want to pre-soak everything what we cook and I'm talking about grains, nuts, uh, seeds. Why we want to do this? Because it will be so easy to your digest this food. Don't skip the step. Nothing I will show you new what you cannot see on internet but you know I want to show you just step by step because I want to encourage you to do this every single time when you cook this. Now we take a garbanzo beans put it right here by the way, never buy canned food, very, very highly processed and tons of salt and more expensive than, than just buy a package of garbanzo beans or any beans. And by the way, you know, smaller beans, it will be easy to digest for you. So I have a garbanzo beans here, uh, walnuts, a pumpkin seed, and this is a just a brown rice. You want to measure how much you put uh, rice because you need to put water when you cook it. And what you do, you just pour water here. So you cover with the water. Keep for at least 24 hours. Okay, now it is a 24 hours uh, since I soak my rice. And now what I want to do, I just want to wash this through. And now it's uh, ready to use. So I put just rice in a pan. Add some water, uh, salt, and it will be ready to cook for tonight dinner. So what you do with the rest of this, you do exactly the same. You rinse it now you can cook them and uh, use them for any dishes like uh, also fermented what i'm going to show you next video after 24 hours your nuts and seeds also pre-soaked beans you just can cook it but um, uh, nuts you can do walnuts any nuts uh, pre-soak for better digestion and uh, seeds as well like uh, sunflower seeds i don't have a good experience like uh, with the small seeds like uh, flax seeds it really doesn't work for me but um, uh, sunflower seeds will can be worked too so when it's a uh, pre-soaked you just put them in a um, uh, cooking pan and just put this in a uh, uh, oven in as low temperature as possible. You know, the best temperature to below 117 Fahrenheit, but if you don't have this low setting, uh, you can just open uh, oven door a little uh, so it won't be so hot. Why we don't want to use the very hot temperature? Because we want to keep enzyme alive. So we want to do this before 170 Fahrenheit. So you can do this exactly the same for uh, nuts. You just put them in spread in a sheet and put this in an oven. Or you can use um, dehumidifier. That's what uh, I want to show you how to do this one. So if you know what it is, it's a dehumidifier um, and there is a trace here and this one is like a, a nine trace and what you do, you just put your nuts right here, okay, you feel all this trace and what I usually do, I do, you know, I will take a big bag of every nuts and seeds and I will be just uh, I feel all this dehumidifier with um, this prepared uh, nuts and seeds. So I close this and uh, I will put on a temperature. This is you can put temperature exactly 117 or low and you just keep this um, um, work and maybe for sometimes I have like uh, 24 hours this will be work to dry my seeds. So when it will be done, it will be crunchy and uh, ready to use. Very digestible um, food to use. So as you see, very easy uh, and uh, everybody can do this. And uh, I tell you, your body will be tell thank you for this. I'm uh, Lucy Piper, your array coach. Um, please download my book below.